studio and uh, today I have a really fun project to share this is my first project project life layout and I have to do the quotation marks because I, I know that I'm not using the pocket pages that are traditional uh, project life I'm also not using the same sizes I'm not using basically it's not project life it's more of like my rendition of project life but I'm really very happy with it. I do think that I still have to um, optimize the process because it still took a little too long to create, which is why I didn't film it. it. Took about two hours to make this layout. However, considering the amount of pictures, um, I, I would say that that's quite a record. Um, so it's definitely still a win, but I definitely wanna get better and faster at it. So just a quick uh, brief recap. Um, this is my 2017 January. I was gonna do one page and my cat's about to jump on the camera so or on the my surface so you may see him. But I was gonna do one page, 12 by 12 page per week. Um, and it turned out more like I ended up doing an entire month into 12 by 12 sheets. So um, kind of cut it in half. But it wasn't, I don't think it was on purpose. I just wasn't, it was my first time. I really did not know what to think. I did not know where to start. I will say that having my little guides, my sheet guides, and I'll, I'll come back on camera and show you what I'm talking about. So definitely having these guides, this is a guide, um, helped it a heck of a lot um, because then it took a lot of the guesswork out. However, what I did not anticipate is that, and there he goes, and he's probably gonna sit on the layout because he loves sitting on things that I'm looking at. So he definitely sat on the layout and then he moved the camera and just made himself at home, which is pretty standard for my kitty. Um, but anyway, I'll go back to the narration. Um, so having this sheet here was incredibly beneficial um, to creating the layout. What I did is that I looked at my pictures and what pictures I wanted where and um, I just went through my pages and then I picked out a layout that would work well for however many pictures I had. So for instance, for this one, I knew I had quite a bit of, um, these were originally three by fours and I ended up condensing them to two and a half by three and a half, which means that I did have to cut quite a bit of the border out of the picture to be able to get them to fit in here. I will say that's the one thing that this does not take into consideration that these are meant for four by six um, prints that are either cut in half or in thirds or, or whatnot. Um, so that said, I think I'm gonna start printing more of the even smaller pictures um, or just keep in mind that a lot of my uh, my edges are gonna get lost. Um, so it worked out actually for all of these and they don't look like they're missing, people are missing half their face. Um, but, so what I did, like I said, is just I laid out all my pictures and then I just went through layouts. For instance, I knew this one wouldn't work because I didn't have a single four by six uh, picture. Um, same with this one. This one, what you would need a portrait four by sixes. It just wouldn't work so I just figured these layouts would work. And then even if they had square pictures and I just condensed the picture and then I added pattern paper where it needed to be added. Um, something that I did notice myself doing is um, I, did not, um, I did not use my silhouette at all with this, with this sheets, which did make it go a little bit faster um, I do want to incorporate some of my diet, like some of the, the silhouette cuts because they're really, really cute. So I, I did end up using this Owl Punch from Stampin' Up, which is how I was able to not use my silhouette is by using a lot of my punches or just even stickers or different things that I had on my in my stash. Um, these doilies here are from a punch. Um, pretty much everything's from a punch and just stickers and things from my stash. And these ones I created myself. Um, and these... Uh, labels I actually share in a previous video of uh, my introduction to Project Life and my 1500 subscriber giveaway. 
So I really, really enjoy. I love the look of it. It's really, really sweet. Um, I'm a little bummed down that uh, I wanted to do a week per page and I ended up doing two for the whole month. But um, I guess I, I also don't have that many pictures. So if I had done something different, it would have been a lot of a lot more journaling than pictures. And I'm not a huge journaler. Um, so like for instance, in this one four by four sheet, I basically described every single picture on this layout. And I and here I just have like little bits of journaling. So definitely not a huge journaler. But I do really like how it turned out and how it looks. I chose more vibrant colors, which is not traditional for a January layout, especially because where I live it snows. But um, as you can clearly see, but I wanted to go with something vibrant and motivating for the entire for the rest of the year, so that my the remainder of my Project Life album can look um, just can can start with a bang. So I hope you enjoyed this. Also, I just wanted to share, this is the album that I'll be using for my 2017 Project Life um, project. Just says this life is pretty amazing, which is why I love it. I haven't created my introduction page. I plan on doing that um, maybe next weekend, so maybe in a couple of weekends you'll be able to see that um, video share. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this.